what's up you guys custom made graphics here in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to export your um, 2d logos and images into cinema 4d to then make them 3d now the first thing I'm going to talk about is the way that a lot of people I've seen do this is um, hang on let me just go and make a new layer out of this hide these ones is a lot of the way people do it is to do it the really quick way um, but this is not something you want to cheat on, it's not something you want to do quickly because you end up getting crappy uh, outlines and the, the lines are not smooth uh, they've got bulges everywhere and they're just not very nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the way that a lot of people do it uh, sometimes don't get me wrong, if all your lines are perfectly lined up this can work perfectly um, but it's not the way I recommend so anyway, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to hit the control key and go and click on the um, preview part of our layer you'll see that we then uh, get a selection come up of the layer uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to have the paths uh, tab up here uh, if you don't have that you can go to window and if you just check the paths tab and it'll come up and you'll see this sort of um, little circular uh, ball uh, with two little sticks sticking out um, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and click that. Now you'll see what you get is this uh, little thing created called a work path. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator. Uh, make sure that that is on Work Path and click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to call this Mr. Rebels AI so we don't get too confused. But I'm going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D and so I can preview this to you guys in 3D. <coughs> Excuse my throw again. So there we go, Cinema 4D is open. I'm going to go and uh, bring this in. You want to keep everything the same that comes up here. And there we go, we've got the logo imported. All we need to now, do now is add some extrude nerves. Uh, how many parts have we got here? We've got seven, so we need to make sure we've got seven. There we go, and I'm just going to go and add all these to the extrude nerves so I can show you what I am talking about. Right, there we go, you see we've got everything made into 3D. Um, what I'm going to do is probably make these a little bit wider. So there we go, I'll extrude that a little bit. And when I render this out, you'll see that down here uh, all the lines that were meant to be straight and neat they've all got bulges in it just doesn't look very good it doesn't look very professional and it's not what you want to do if you're planning on creating something like this so what we're going to do is going to delete that and go back into Photoshop we're going to get our pen tool and right click and delete the path what we're then going to do is sorry if you heard my phone vibrate just then what we're then going to do is get the pen tool and slowly go around the whole uh, layer, make sure you're missing nothing out. So I'm going to start that now and I'll speed this up even I'll speed this up a bit for you guys and I'll be back in a second. Right, okay guys, we're back, and I've just quickly gone around and pen tooled the whole layer, and you'll see up here that we have another work path. That's because when you do a pen tool, when you do pen tooling with the uh, pen tool, <laughs> uh, that creates you a work path, and um, it's a lot clearer, it's a lot smoother, and it's a lot nicer for using when you're converting your images to 3D. So what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to go to File and Export, Paths to Illustrator once again, make sure it's a work path. I'm going to save this as Mr. Rebels AI number 2 just for now. Right, that's saved, so we're going to go and import that into Cinema 4D. And straight away, you'll get, you guys will notice that it's a lot um, smoother. Uh, what I'm first of all, going to do is uh, just open up. Just open up a quick Lightroom. To find where I want to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just open up that 
and get rid of all of these and paste that in there. And I'm just quickly going to resize that. Right, so we're going to get our extrude nerves out once again. So we've again got seven paths, so we're going to need seven different extrude nerves. And again, we're just going to go and drop them into each one. Whoops. Minimize all these. Then what we'll do is we make these a little bit wider once again. And you'll see, guys, that once we render this out, it's a lot smoother, there's no more of the bulging lines, um, it's a lot more crisp, and it just looks a whole lot better when you're uh, doing your work. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, if it helps you out, do let me know, and if you have any more tutorial requests, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video if this helps you out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.